Hello Internet Dwellers, and welcome back to Bit by Block, the show where we recreate famous movie and television locations inside of Minecraft for the hopes of one day doing a mission with them. I am your host, Jeff, as always, and welcome back to a brand new build. Uh, last build, we finished the Back to the Future Clock Tower uh, build, and this one, uh, as you can tell by the long stretch of the road that's going off into infinity out there, is going to be... That was my pathetic attempt at a drum roll. It is the Bates Motel. That is right, Bates Motel and house from Psycho. Um... And yes, real quick, before we go any further, I am the eighth doctor from Doctor Who. That is my skin. Anywho, <laughs> that's just the level of nerdism that you're dealing with. So anyways, um, like I said at the end of the last series, I built a long, long road. This road, as you can kind of see there faintly coming in, that is the clock tower set uh, that we built last series. Uh, I just decided to uh, lose diner. This is the back of lose diner right there. I just decided to build the road way out here, uh, quite a long distance, and I might actually build this out a little bit further. Just, I want to get far enough away from that that this would work. So, before I do anything further, let me do that. Um, as before, I am using the... Uh, the the world edit uh, with forge mod here just so that way it makes life a little bit easier when it comes to a lot of this uh, building that is repetitive now the main difference between this series and uh, the last series whoops what is going on there oh oh no oh no 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 eh, oh, oh oh are we doing this again where keyboard doesn't want to mm hmm hmm <sighs> okay I gotta work on that give me one second guys hold on Okay, and I'm back. So I don't know what that deal is. I think that uh, I think it's just like a curse of this series. Um, I'm pretty sure like the first episode <laughs> of the Back to the Future one, something similar actually ended up happening off camera. Uh, whatever reason, every once in a while, my copy of Minecraft just doesn't like to let me copy or type. It just freaks out. Anyways, back to what I was saying before. So we are building the Bates Motel and the Psycho House. Um, I wanted to put our uh, far enough away, away from the city, um, the Back to the Future Clock Tower set, that we have plenty of space here to build additional stuff. Um, the Bates Motel itself is actually supposed to be outside in kind of the middle of nowhere, so I figured that this road would just kind of keep going out this way and kind of become the dirt gravelly road um that it ends up being in the movie so what i'm just going to do is that's just so we can find our way back i am more or less just going to in this episode uh lay out kind of where the general structure is going to be for the motel the sign and the house and then as we go we'll actually fill that out and we'll 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 build it all a little bit better now the nice thing about this build is that actually the motel portion of it there's really only two unique rooms there's about and i got a bunch of reference photos for this there's what one two three four five six seven there's seven um rooms uh, and that includes the one that marion stays in next to the uh the, the check-in room um on the main portion of it and it is an l-shaped building and then there's like another four i think on the l that comes out towards the road beauty here is, is that we only really have to make one and we can kind of copy and paste it and uh, just save us a lot of time now this build is a little bit different than the uh, uh the clock tower oh of course it's raining why wouldn't it rain in every single episode? Um, and it, it, separate from the clock tower build where we really didn't put any detail inside the buildings, for this one we actually will because really this would need it at least in at least in marion's room uh so the room right next to the the check-in room her room will have detail in it um i'm assuming we'll just end up decorating hers and then i'll just that's when i'll just copy and paste the other rooms across so we will put detail in that one and then in the house we will put as much detail in it as we can based upon Minecraft basically and what we can build and what we've seen of the house uh, I am going off of in case you guys wondering I am going off of the original psycho I'm not going off of anything from at least as of right now. I'm not going off of anything from the three sequels parts two three or four um, Or I am also not going off of the Bates Motel TV show uh, Nor am I going off of the Gus Van Saint 19 what 97 or 98 shot for shot remake that had Vince Vaughn in it yeah, some of you out there maybe hopefully didn't know about that movie, and I'm 
very jealous of you because that movie was terrible. Anyways, so I am going off of the classic base motel from the original movie Psycho. So we'll just put that to rest right off the bat. Um, so yeah, so let's get going here. Like I said, what we're going to do is we are going to lay it out the kind of just the general, the general gist of the, um, the entire build and kind of where certain stuff is. So I am just going to grab, uh, I'm going to grab some bright colors here. No, I'm going to grab some bright colors here just so that way we know for a fact that that's nothing of the final build. Okay. So, <sighs> all right. So now the beauty is, is that I can always shift this and move this because I have a feeling that I'm not going to be able to exactly guess where this needs to be. And we're also going to have to go way further out. Okay, so that is the corner of the the front office. So what we're going to do is the way this is set up, again, this is just a very rough mock-up. There's the door. There is that. And we are going to build this so it's a little more practical. Um so that would be like so and then yeah we are going to actually build these out just a little bit more uh it's gonna look a little bit wider i guess than what the actual set will be but i am trying to take into account that the inside of this is gonna oh man is gonna have to have a wall god i don't want to make that three wide hmm. these are very tiny they are a very small small set so it might just be, uh, let's see, let's go back. Actually, you know what? Let me get up my floor plans because yes, yes, everybody, I I did in fact find floor plans for this. <laughs> um, I do believe these floor plans are actually, I don't think they are legit floor plans. I think these are one of those fan-made floor plans, but it still will work for the purposes of this video. So, okay, so in the front office... Uh, you walk in, there is a counter about there. Yep. And then there's a little bit of a walkway. I'm trying to figure out how deep this is going to be. So I'm, only only gonna, I'm really only going to lay this out for this, the main office. Those other ones will, we can make it work. So that's that. And then, okay, so my green's going to be my interior walls. There's got to be enough space for Norman to be back there. And then there is a, oops, the door is in the middle of that one. So the door goes here. There is a closet here, which we're probably just not going to be able to get into this build. So we'll skip that. And then there is going to come back here. And this part looks deeper than the front part. It looks like it's maybe like a block off of halfway. So what is this right here? So to that middle, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, actually, so what about here, maybe? Is that about, that looks about right. So, and then there's a windows back here, because these are the windows that they look out of. The, the, Here's the thing, like the, the front check-in office is actually fairly similar to uh, to the rest of the complex, except there's a wall here. Um, man, these are not going to be... Oh no, but this is smaller. This is a narrower... Okay, because I'm going to say, we, we still have to get a bathroom in here. Uh, I'm trying to think of just how we're going to do that. Bathroom, and then there's a bed in that one. So, okay, so this one is smaller. It actually looks like the next two rooms over are wider or bigger rooms, and then they get smaller again. So that might that might actually be okay. Okay, let's, you know what, I'm actually going to build in Marion's, and then we'll know. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's kind of generally that. Well, we do at least have one block over from there, and then, so that's that. Then here's the front window for hers, and the door. I wonder if we shouldn't go a little wider. Two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. I wonder if we shouldn't make this just a one block wider and then make that, and then that's the divider. No, I can't do the divider wall there because. Uh, oh no, that's right. This inside wall could actually just be white sharing on the side. Okay, so <laughs> it helps if I talk this all out loud. You guys know that. You went through seven episodes, or if you haven't gone through the Back to the Future series and are now joining me for this one, well, congratulations and welcome, and hopefully you don't get annoyed by me very quickly. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, okay, so then there's the door. Let's just, um, let's figure this out. So 
the bedroom wall or the bed or sorry the bed is about there ish yeah we're gonna do a two bed too wide um oh man alive this is gonna be tight so oh man okay so there and there <laughs> this is not that is not large enough is it we need to make this one more we need to move this whole thing over this whole thing needs to be one more over there we go so if we do that and we actually do move that back to being a wider window and then that's the door because then what I want is I didn't need to move those I just needed to move these I want this bathroom to be large enough there we go so what is it it's a sink shower toilet okay nope that works that works because that's the sink that's the shower and that's the toilet so then what we're actually going to do is we're gonna move that down one that's not exactly where it's at but that gives me a little more freedom here um, we do have to make sure that there's a people right here uh, which we will build uh, I have you can actually do to make sure there's a because <laughs> this is the level of detail folks so if we do that and oh what is it that would work I think a tra I think a trap door will actually do this well and then we do a painting which will put the painting on her side so if we put this there yep and just leave that sh shut I should be able to nope can I not ah oh, yes I can <laughs> nope yep there we go <laughs> that is disturbingly perfect okay so <laughs> so what that does is that creates a people now um what kind of sucks is I remember back in the day um you used to be able to see through those and that kind of sucks I might have to figure out a way to fix that so I can actually look through because I want this to be so there's a painting on this side and I can actually see through it into the bathroom hey, hey come on I'm role-playing this okay leave me alone <laughs> so okay so with that being said um, with that being said you know what let's let's go ahead and do this I know this is not the final this is not the final building I'm just trying to figure out the general layout of this um, oh you know what yeah let's do that okay so now we got so that's one so we want to one two three four we gotta go five more that way I guess I know I realize I did say that according to my blueprints some of these rooms are smaller and some of them are actually flipped like for example this one is flipped the other way and then that one stays the same and then this one's flipped and then that one stays the same so okay well so we'll we'll figure that plus these are also going to be at a slight angle the um this is gonna be when we start doing some terraforming here of the land a little bit um in the original movie there is a bit of a slant to this hill it's not a flat surface so i think it's like around i think it's like around here ish or so there is a step down drop off and these go and then there's i think like a step down here for this one and then these are all on the same plane so what we'll end up doing is we'll end up building this on this plane and we'll start building up because the house obviously is going to be up on a hill too so i did uh in, in in case just for some reason in case you're uh curious and you haven't used world edit or forge there is a a terraforming tool here um that we can actually add into it so if we do like this and what to yeah and boom there we go so now what we can do is we can build little structures uh, and then we can smooth these all out so then that way they uh, look a little more natural and that's what we will end up eventually doing um, shortly and truthfully what I might end up doing is we might make this mock up here so I have an idea of what we're going to do and then maybe we'll terraform next to it and then we'll just build we'll just recreate this over on the actual terraform land so perhaps that's what we'll do uh, or you know whatever we'll figure it out so okay so when this one here now the <laughs> rain 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 okay so um thank you um now the way that this is set up so this is this is set up in a way let me give me some wood here giggity um let's put some wood out here so this is the front yeah so that's like the the front porch is a wooden walkway that goes all the way there so if we do three here 
we're gonna need to do three here and there what there is is there's a there's actually a gap here so this is the edge of another one of these so like this would go back like this and then this comes out here so that's a corner the uh there is two more back here so i guess actually this is okay well so here's a test of whether or not <laughs> i did this correctly um what i need to do oh my goodness i have to rotate that's always fun um all right let's do this so if we copy this and then rotate this 90 okay okay <laughs> never liked this part <laughs> um it's one block back and probably be there and paste did it do it oh it did it okay sweet so hmm that might need to be moved over one oh yeah it needs to be moved over one crap okay undo so then what we're gonna do is just do this and we are going to paste it right here there we go see this is what i'm talking about this the, uh, the forge tool the world edit tool just makes life so much simpler um and then i'm going to also do the same thing right here All right yes and oh man i'm one block off uh the way that these the way that they are designed is that this ends he, on the edge of here so this actually might need to just be so maybe we just make the whole thing one more block deeper. I think that's gonna be my plan. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Do 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 do. Upsy daisy. Hit. And just move this whole thing one to the left. That is easier than uh, trying to <laughs> fix that. Aye. So let's just move you. And we are going to cheat. And do stack four. Oh, four. Uh, stack five? Stack six. Okay. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> too far. Too far. Um, and then, of course, then what will end up happening is that these all need to be moved out one more, too. So then that is our dimensions. Excellent. That was a hell of a lot easier than I expected it to be. I figured that was going to be at least two episodes. Um, and yes, that's the other thing is that... Oops. No, 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 no. Not two move one. Oh my goodness I'm angled at the wrong direction let's turn there we go yep come on don't you just love this stuff um <laughs> oh you know why I was doing it oh I was facing it oh my god I'm an idiot sorry sorry I, I swear I know what I'm doing in this game okay there we go nope there we go what are, what are you? Oh, that's, okay, that's, that's this one. Yeah, that's right, Jeff. Okay, um, there we go. No, okay, so yes, as I was starting to say there, um, this, this particular build is probably not going to be super duper long, because obviously we're 20 minutes into this episode, and we more or less have the general layout for the motel done, um, so really this is not going to be a super crazy long episode uh or our series uh the the clock tower one and it's not saying that we're not going to have episodes like that in the future it's just for now it's it's this particular build is not going to be one of those um it just won't be one of those those types oh you know what oh these are probably narrower oh i just realized that because these um, okay okay all right let's just um Oops, I wrote uh, 90 and then paste. Oh, goodness sake. Yeah, see, this is what I hate about this. <laughs> oh, guys, did I did I copy that and I just didn't remember it? I probably did, didn't I? I probably did. Um, Oh, no, you know what I did. Whoa, is this not working? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, because I copied it at the wrong pivot point. Hey. All right, we'll see if that actually copies. Uh, so what we're going to do is we want to copy rotate 90. No, I didn't I didn't I did not I did not type rotate. I typed row 8. Okay, so now that is that is rotated and then what is this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 
and that's on the tenth one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and on the tenth one. So now, paste. Excellent. Yes, perfect. Um, yep, these are these are narrower because I don't believe these are supposed to be longer. I think this is all supposed to be the same width. So we're just going to move these. So these two at the end here are shallower apartments. They're just not as big as, as those are. Um, so that way they stay in line. So, okay, now with that, hold on, let me get up my uh, other photographs of the building complex. So that's that one there. So that's one. So I need three more of these. And these actually look like they're all on the same... Um, these guys don't look like they rotate. Those over there rot are alternated. These do not look like they uh, alternate. So let's just stack these three more times. So then there's a total of four. One, two, three, four, and then those two in the back. So there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's twelve apartments. I won't do thirteen. Thirteen if you count that. Oh, look at that. So oh, that doesn't that just, just doesn't this look awfully looks awfully wide or awfully Hmm. But there is four. I'm looking at the picture. There are four of them. So, all right. I guess that's the Bates Motel. Okay. So yeah. So this is exactly why I wanted to do this. As you can tell, it is a little bit wider. Um, I do want this not too far back. Just a little bit. Um, it's just it's a little too close to the side of the road. It is a little bit off the beaten path. And again, I'm going off of a photograph from the back lot. Um, <laughs> Because yes, Chad, I am building the universal back lot. <laughs> uh, it is happening here. So, because uh, this is also a universal movie, just like Back to the Future. Okay, so let's just move this whole thing over. What? Eight? <sighs> I sometimes forget the code. Okay, so yeah, that's good. I mean, it, it's not good enough for me move 12 left there we go yes that's better okay so now that is about where we would want it to have the uh um I'm, what i'll probably do is i'll probably kill the sidewalks no pun intended i'll kill the sidewalks back there a bit because in the movie it's just a normal highway road this will probably also become a little bit smaller and narrower as it goes out through there um but yeah so that is the bit jeez i still don't like how that just looks so deep I know it is. It's a little bit bigger because we have to. We're making the. Uh, we're making these rooms a little bit larger. And I guess. Hang on. I wonder if we shouldn't just try this. I wonder. See the bed. The beds are here. The beds are right next to the bathroom, and the bathroom is wider because of the blocks. So, and there's a desk over here, which. These just look all deep too, don't they? Hmm. I wonder if that's too deep. Hold on, let me look back to my other... <laughs> and now I just kind of kind of wish I was recording this other screen here so you guys could see what's uh, what I'm looking at. Um, you know what I could do? Hold on. Oh, I can't because that's not the screen I'm recording on. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I tried bringing over the floor plans, but it's not going to let me do it. Um, so, okay. So, the way that this is set up is... You know what? No, hold on, guns. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's, uh. Yeah, let's do. Let's, uh. Oops. Oh, I can't do it. Never mind. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, sorry. I thought stuff was happening there. Okay, so the way this is set up is that when you walk into these rooms. So you walk into the door. Let's just go use Marion's here for an example. Uh, so you walk into the door. There is. Like a table. Here with like a chair almost, um, which is, that's kind of weird because the table, the desk that she wrote at, I thought was, or no, this, oh, this is the dresser, sorry. This is the dresser over there. And then there's a garbage container there that she throws in. So this is the desk that she actually sits at. So look out the window and then there is like, I don't know, like a stand or something there, but then there's a chair. Oh, it fell off. Um, there is a, uh, there's like a chair here. And then there must be something else here. The window to the base motel, or sorry, the house is out here. Um, 
Yeah, you know, I guess, okay, so I guess technically the closet. So I wonder if we could move the bed over one. The closet would actually be here. That would actually make this layout a little bit better. So we'd make a closet there. The bed comes out here instead. So that's our closet. We'll just, we'll throw doors on there or something like that. So then that's that. We have a really just... So then the chair would actually be about there or so. Even though it really is back here in the corner. But we gotta fill in this space a little bit better. So, okay. Well, you know what? No, okay, I feel better about that. That that does that does work, so. Okay, well, okay, so there's that. Now, the way this is set up, there is a... Uh, there's like a patio... Um, well, let's do that, actually. Let's... Uh, uh. Whoa! Oh, goodness sake. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Hmm. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Hold on. <laughs> Let's... Hold on. Let's look at this. So, okay, so if you can read this, it's kind of horrible, but if you can read this, this is some of the... Uh, um, some of the world edit options here. So, I, par I apologize. I swallowed really close to the microphone and that was disgusting. I will try not to do that in the future. So, we want to... Uh, is it filler? Is that what I want? I'm just trying to think here which one will work the best for what I want to do. I'm going to use the, uh, the... this. I'm going to use the tools here to switch position one, fill. That's just going to be filling that though, isn't it? Filler R. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. So, if we do filler... One, one, nope, nope, that's, nope, oh, nope, that's where I'm standing, don't want that. Oh no, what is the tool? If I can't figure it out in like the next five seconds, I'm just not gonna bother, I'll deal with it later. Um, cause that's, that's replace, I don't actually want to replace, that's my selection. I just want to, f I want to use my, uh, my, basically my painting tool here, so. Uh, um, I can, <laughs> yeah, I can't read that. Okay, don't worry about it. So anyways, the way this is set up is there is a stone walkway or a stone patio that comes out to about, we're going to use a different tool, probably about here-ish. Um, the actual steps for the walk up are going to be about here. That's where they'll start. And they kind of, what they do is they, they kind of go up and they wind their way up here. You know, we're just gonna go straight. That would just be easier for this, even though they do kind of crook off. So they're gonna get about there, and then they're gonna come out, and then they're gonna come over. Yep, and they'll come. Actually, this goes a lot deeper than that. So these stairs go like this, and then they come over to about midway here, and then at this point, it becomes just a. Uh, that looks so weird, doesn't it? Oh, because it goes back at an angle. Okay, so we will actually have to do these at an angle. So, more or less, um, okay, I gotta look at this the correct direction because my head's hurting. <laughs> so, if we go, we go normal and normal for those. We will make this one more block wider. Just we'll do like that. Um, and then we come over one for those two. And then we come over and over. Like so, how far away are we? That's pretty good. And then we will do up, up, and then are we behind it? Yes, we are. So that's, okay. So then that's where the staircase will end um, just a little higher, obviously. Uh, not uh, not just flush on the floor here. Um, then this becomes just like a, yeah, that becomes that. So then let me just do it from here because it's easier to follow and then up, and then all the way over, like that. So then that's just like a little landing uh, about halfway up or about three quarters of the way up. Actually, there is a landing. This is a landing as well. So landing there, landing there, and then we'll be up here. And so then this is going to be the, uh, like the, the mountain will curve around here and will probably wrap its way back like that. And then this will be all mountain. And then the house will be up here Let's see, where is Marion's room? Marion's room is there. So the house will probably be like back here or so. Probably about uh, probably about here. Like that. And then this this one we're gonna the house will take some time on because 
I want to make sure I, we get it right. I don't want the house to be wrong. House has a very unique style. It is, it is also very simple in in layout. It's it's pretty much uh, equal half uh, on the outside with enough space on the inside for the staircase. But that's where we're going to have to figure out is like how how big do we make the house so it still is in correct scale, but is also able to have because um, when you walk in. Again, I gotta look at the blueprints, but I'm pretty certain that yeah, when you walk in the door here, there's like a there's a there's a doorway like there going into this part with a wall like that, um, and then here's the stairs. So if we can do two, can we do can we do? Th I want to do two with a railing. So then that's our railing. So that's the wall. So we do that, and then there's a walkway. Oh yeah, actually no, that's perfect. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just second guessing everything I do right now, because then there's a wall, there's a rail, there's a walkway here, and this is what leads to the back of the house um, as the staircase goes up. So, okay, hmm. All right, so if we just had to figure out the widths. Okay, well, with that, guys, I'm going to cut the episode a little short. <laughs> a little short, as we're still sitting at a half hour. Um, but we're going to kind of stop right there because that's as much planning-wise as I would like to do. Uh, and then we're going to start working on actually building out these... Um, these rooms. Uh, we'll start off the next episode with a little bit of terraforming. That'll probably be in the opening sequence. Um, the opening, like, little uh, time-lapse, which won't be a very super long time-lapse just because of the building. And also, what I might, what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'll probably end up terraforming this front part first for this. Uh, we're also going to swap out all the grass for dirt or gravel uh, just because it isn't, it, none of it really is uh, grass except for, like, a tiny little portion of decoration that's right in front of the motel. Um, but we'll swap out this for dirt and gravel, and then I'll do a little bit of, a, of, of terraforming here just to get a little bit of an incline. i got to figure out how we're going to do that because whole blocks are going to be too much of an incline so I will look through what we have for slabs oh crap maybe we will have to build this flat it's not a lot of good stuff for slabs when it comes to dirt I wish there was like a <laughs> I know this makes no sense I wish there was a dirt slab I really do uh just want a half block Ugh, we're gonna mod this thing more aren't we so anyways um but well, I'll figure out what I want to do off camera, and then when I figure out what I want to do, I'll pop it in camera. You guys will see that next time, and then we will uh, start building out at least these two uh, rooms uh, for the next episode after that time lapse. Get that all set, and then we'll worry about copying this in the following episode, and then we can start in on the house. So, like I said, it's going to be a fast build. It probably won't be seven episodes, but, uh, you know, wait. We'll, we'll just, uh, we'll just kind of wait and see, basically. So, well, with that, everybody, I am, whoa, twitching. I'm not twitching. Not yet, anyways. So, I am Jeff Bell with Bit by Block, and of course, it's pouring down rain. <sighs> I look so sad holding my big yellow block. All right, everybody. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> Bye.